It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 20th of February. I'm James Spann. Another spring preview today. Rain returns tomorrow. And any cold air on the horizon, late season cold snap type stuff. Let's go in there and check it out this morning. This is the 500 millibar look. This is about 18,000 feet off the ground. Note the troughing west of the state, ridging here. But the trough off to the west is progressive, and that will likely bring some rain in here tomorrow. This morning is producing some storms out in Texas. Uh, that was the radar about 5 o'clock this morning. Again, storms approaching Houston. That'll be a fun uh, Monday morning rush hour for our friends there. And that will be reaching us tomorrow. Starting off the day mostly in the 40s. Looks like the cool spot is Gadsden. They've got 42. Anniston, 46, Tuscaloosa, 48, Birmingham, 50. We go well up in the 70s again today. Basically a clone of yesterday. Just a marvelous preview of spring. Around the nation, it's colder behind the trough, but nothing excessively cold for late winter. And really, we're not going to see much in the way of cooler air until the weekend ahead. There's the uh, watch warning map. We have dense fog advisories for parts of southwest Alabama. Also, some fog issues north of the state up around the Ohio River. But generally speaking, things are quiet for the eastern U.S. A marginal risk of severe weather west of the state today from near Texarkana and Shreveport down to Houston. But tomorrow, no, no chance of any severe weather. Probably no thunder for our end of the state. Maybe some thunder down around Mobile. Now, we do note on day five, this is at the end of the week, there's a risk of severe weather Friday for parts of Indiana in the surround, for all of Indiana in the surrounding states. And we'll take a look at that setup in a moment, but looks like that's going to stay north of us. And the rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week, about one half to one inch. And quite frankly, much of this will come tomorrow. So here we go, model fans, the GFS. This is the 06C run at noon today, ridging here, troughing to the west. A dry, very mild day, highs mid to upper 70s. And March is almost here. You know, it's almost time to kick off meteorological spring, and it sure feels like it. We note rain west of the state. Look at the anomalies today. Again, much of the Midwest, way above average. They'll see more record highs. Minneapolis, Des Moines, Chicago. Tomorrow, the uh, wave comes in, and you can see a, a broad surface low west of the state with rain arriving. This is noon off the high-res NAM, showing a pretty good bit of rain here. Uh, you know, over the weekend, the models didn't show that much for tomorrow, but things change, and this looks pretty wet. Six o'clock tomorrow, still wet. So look, tomorrow looks like a wet day, cloudy with rain likely. Uh, the better chance of thunder down over the southern counties of the state, and the high will be in the 60s. Wednesday, the uh, wave begins to move on to the east, so uh, there might be some rain early Wednesday morning maybe in the pre-dawn hours. And moisture is kind of wrapping in here, so certainly we'll have some clouds during the morning. We'll forecast a gradual clearing by afternoon. And then Thursday looks dry and mild, and again, highs up in the 70s. Same thing Friday. Now, we note that deep surface low north of St. Louis. That looks like almost a blizzard for parts of uh, Iowa. You know, where they've got record warmth today. They could be buried in snow later this week. But that thing is passing pretty far to the north. We have warm air aloft, not much moisture. So uh, I just don't think we have much in the way of rain and certainly not a severe weather problem. Then Friday night, the, the surface front comes in here. We will mention a chance of showers and maybe some thunder Friday night. And then Saturday, the system moves on and we are in cooler air. As uh, temperatures get back to where they should be, here's a look at the anomalies Saturday. In fact, this is suggesting we should be a little below average here. Um, highs closer to 60. This is Sunday. We'll probably drop in the 30s by Sunday morning. I don't think we see a freeze unless you're in a you know pretty cold pocket. And then the high Sunday would likely be in the low 60s, about where we should be for this time of the year. But it should be bright and sunny. For the weekend, bottom line is chilly nights, pleasant days, mostly sunny. Now, Monday of next week, troughing approaching from the west, and this looks pretty nasty if by chance this verifies. This is a week out, and we all know this will probably change. But uh, if this were to verify, we got a deep surface low under 1,000 millibars north of Jackson, Tennessee, and that would be a deal with uh, maybe stronger severe storms. So we'll see. 
This is the end of the forecast period, uh, Wednesday of next week. Troughing just to the west and another kind of uh, look where we might see some storms. So at this point, next week is looking kind of stormy as we approach the beginning of March and the beginning of the spring tornado season. We'll check out the numbers coming off the uh, European. You can see very mild this week. And then the weekend cool down, highs for the weekend closer to 60. We go down in the 30s Sunday morning. And after that, highs mostly in the 60s. Still no sign of any uh, big widespread late season freeze. But I caution you, we always have them in March. Now, we've had a freeze here as late as April 23rd. So uh, uh, it is not time to plant. I always recommend planting tax day, April 15th. And that's a long way away. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Well, I'd note in the blog, the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.